Hey everyone, and welcome back to a new video. So this is a really good episode. We got incredibly lucky, I'm pretty sure. So please enjoy the amazing luck. Oh nice, I wasn't recording, but I did just get a crystal top totem piece, which is, I guess, decent. Pretty, uh, I'm pretty sure it's like a really bad totem, but still nice to get. I can't remember how many of these I already have. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, so that's two out of three for the crystal. So, okay, so it's it's for thieving, I guess. So that's pretty good if you're AFK and Clue Scrolls, but yeah, I highly doubt I'm ever gonna use that. Okay, honestly, I do really wanna start doing Clue Scrolls because I've got a lot stacked up already. So just about to make myself a preset because I del deleted my Clue Scroll preset like a long time ago. Uh, I'm not really sure what to bring, so I guess we're going to adjust it as we go along. Like when I start doing the clue scrolls, we can just adjust it for items that I need. Because I can't really remember what I need for uh, teleporting around, so that'll do for now. Okay, so before I started doing clue scrolls, I really wanted to unlock Dave's spellbook because it's amazing for like RD teleports and South Falador teleports, so. Yeah, I'm pretty much at the end of this quest now. Um, honestly, that was a really fun quest. I'm not a quest fan at all, but that was enjoyable. Some of the dialogue was funny. How Dave's mum is constantly telling him to clean. It's great. But yeah, after this quest, in a couple of minutes. Oh, there we go, we're done. So, that should be the quest complete. And we have unlocked Dave's spellbook. Any second now. Hello? Cool. Unlock Dave's spellbook. Well, I have to go talk to Dave, I think. Well, that is going to be sick for Clue Scrolls. But, yeah, currently my friend wants to go Solak, so I'm going to take a bit of a delay from Clue Scrolls again. There we go. I just spoke to Dave and got the spellbook, so that's going to be really nice, honestly. But, yeah, like I just said, we're about to go do some Clue Scrolls. Uh, we're about to go do some Solak, so good luck. Hopefully we can get something. I'd like to get my freaking Grimoire already. That would be nice. Right, that's the first solid kill about to be done. We're doing trio, by the way. I kind of prefer, I, I definitely prefer duo, but trio is fine. Well, that's another solid down. So let's go get some amazing loot. Stone spirits, please. All right, time for the loot. Something good, please. Mm, okay, battle staffs and a page. Can't complain. Another Solak done. That was a new PB. What's he got for me? Oh, 700,000 coins. Lovely. Decent kill. See you, fam. Alright. Let's go get some more loot. A couple of green pages that would be uh, very nice. Just saying. Or some herbs, same thing. Alright, another kill done. What's tree boss got for me this time? <gasps> oh my fucking god, yes. Oh my god, yes, I just got a fucking offhand, offhand blight bound. Holy fuck. Bruh. <laughs> oh my god, that's like over, that's nearly 900 mil on Mainscape. Oh my god, that's like my first Solak drop. Like my first, not official, because my official was the Marathor stuff. But that's my first actual drop, like good drop. Oh my fucking god, yes, that's an off hand. Oh my god, yes. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. First actual Solak drop. Oh my fucking god. I'm so happy right now. But I can't wait around, I have to go straight back. <laughs> okay, so I think it's fair to say that was a successful trip. This is going to be the last last loot though. Let's see what I can get. Nests and pages. All right, nice. Oh my god, I'm so happy. All right, third person's about to leave, but me and my main partner's going to go back for another hour of duo. Man, I can't believe it. Can't believe how expensive that is on Mainscape. Jesus. 
Um, that was a 74 KC, I believe. Uh, pretty sure I checked already. Yeah, 74 KC. That was my offhand crossbow. So we're now on pages, offhand crossbow, and a uh, staff. So I think it's going decent so far. Alright, that's the first kill of duo. What's he gonna give us? Okay, starting off with some stone spirits. Sit fam. <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen a crossbow, so I think I deserve one. Main hand crossbow would be nice. Wall. Ah, uh, or dragon stones. Uh, we've got some more stuffs coming up. Okay, that's really nice, honestly. Wines, I love super brews. Okay, what's he gonna give us? Okay, bolt tips, very nice. Uh, that was the last kill of the hour. Are we gonna get something is the question. Probably not. Okay, got some coins. What's my partner gonna get? Coins too. Great finish. Thank you for kills. Alright, so we are officially done with Double Surge after this lap. So that's very nice to get done. Something I should have got a long time ago, but I just hate agility, so I could never be bothered. But it's all good, that's going to be 500 pages now. I think that took a lot longer than it should do. Some people say it takes 5 hours, but I was doing it on my phone too. Like if I wasn't on my PC, I would just have FK agility on my phone and just like click every now and again. But I think that took me around like eight or nine hours, so yeah, I shouldn't really take that long. But it is time. Can't wait for this. So I think we just have to uh, go here. And should let me make the double surge. Make sure that I make the wrong one. Okay. Um, yeah, so we just make it, I guess. There we go. Very nice to get. Oh yeah, it doesn't tell me the value because it's the untradeable one. Right, let's unlock this now. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Double Surge has finally been unlocked. So basically how this works is it just lets you surge. Like, even when surge is on cooldown, I think. So I can surge, then I can wait a dive and then surge again. Okay, nice. Very good, very good. Alright, about to go do some clue scrolls, but first I do want to make some teleports for my Dave spellbook. So I'm not gonna make all of them. There's like six or seven teleports total, but I think I only need RD Falador, the Watchtower one. If I can even do that, because I'm not sure if I've done the quest. Baroque one which teleports you to the museum. I think that should be all I need honestly. I guess we'll see Whoops, misclicked on a teleport and went to uh, Falador. That was awkward. All right, let's make all these So That's that What ah, okay, so that yeah, I made the watchtower ones But we can't use them because we need to do the observatory quest That's whatever it's a 10 minute quest, I'll do that eventually. But yeah, I got a few teleports in here now, that should be really nice for clue scrolls. Hopefully I don't burn through them. Because they do take a very long time to make and they waste so many soft clays. But it's just going to speed up clue scrolls by a lot. And it's time to go do some. Alright, just activate my totem of treasure and then we are good to go, I think. This is just going to decrease the amount of steps by one so it's gonna help out it's gonna save time we are ready to go and honestly this is gonna take a very long time so just in case you're wondering how many clue scrolls I've got um, let's have a little look I'm probably gonna struggle with easy and mediums because I haven't unlocked all of the uh, hidey holes so I'm not looking forward to doing that all of the hard elites and master hidey holes are done. So we can literally rush through them. 
Arsenal. I think we're going to start off with elites. Yeah, we've got 41 masters, 27 easy, 30 medium, 30 hard, and 95 elites. So we're going to start off doing the elite ones, and then we'll move on to the rest. I'm only going to loot the caskets once we actually finish all of them, uh, not including masters. Alright, if, uh, I need to go and check my machines. I have been doing clue scrolls. I finished like eight already. But yeah, so it's, uh, it's gonna take a while to do them. Unfortunately, elites take a long time compared to hards and masters. But yeah, let's loot some stuff in my machines. Can't remember what I've got in here. Nothing in the potions. Uh, 14 mil in there, very nice. And I think I, I have no idea what I put in my disassembler. Hopefully something decent. Okay, a lot of stuff. I'm not going to read through it all, but I'm guessing there's some nice components in there. Alright, I'm going to quickly fill my machines back up with some lovely alcohols. We have a lot in my AD chest. Um, a lot of rune stuff. Ah, shit. Um, yeah, pretty sure I've got like over 80 mil in rune alks just in this chest alone. So that's going to be some really nice GP when I claim it. Probably going to take a while to alk, but it's going to be nice. So I've got some stuff for my alchemizer and my disassembler. Honestly, the alks are going to be amazing. I still have these 200 uh, huge plated from Raksha, so that's going to be some nice money too. And then we got the stuff from Elite Dungeons, so oh my god, that's going to be nice. Three days till that's done, but honestly, that should be some really good GP. I'm very poor at the minute, so I wasn't really sure what to put in my disassembler, so I've just got some relics from Elite Dungeons, as well as a couple of thousand dragon bones, honestly. I'm like, I have a lot of dragon bones. I have like nearly a hundred thousand dragon bones, so may as well put them in the disassembler for some components. Not that I'm going to need them, but yeah, I was stuck on what to put in it, so that's what we're going for. Wow, we've got some really good missions today. Usually I don't record pause, but yeah, look at this. We've got 10 ancient bones there. We've got 10 ancient bones there. And then if we look at this guy, we can also buy 15 more ancient bones. So that's a very easy 35 ancient bones. Sick. So let's go ahead and buy these now. And we've got to send off two missions. Amazing. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. So yeah, we did manage to get the offhand crossbow from Solak, which is honestly so nice. So now we're just praying for the main hand crossbow as well as Grimoire. But the offhand is really nice to get, it just means I can use chins, honestly. Chin chompers, me uh, mechanized chin chompers plus the offhand, that's going to be sick. For like clearing out mobs in elite dungeons. If you are new here and you want to see more, then of course you can subscribe. That would be much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.